Hi, I'm Brian Preer, tutor in high school chemistry. Today's topic is dimensional analysis. Dimensional analysis is a way to convert units in science using something called a conversion factor. It may seem tedious at first, having to show this in your work and doing simple conversions from like meters to centimeters, but as you get on into more abstract conversions like from kilometers into seconds, this will start to become more useful and ultimately easier. So let's start getting down to it. The principle is to multiply by a conversion factor. That's just a fraction that's equivalent to 1. So let's give you an example. 1 meter over 100 centimeters. That's a conversion factor. We know that 1 meter is the same as 100 centimeters. We could just as easily rewrite this the other way around. 1 meter is 100 centimeters, and 100 centimeters is also a meter. And again, that could be 100 centimeters over 100 centimeters, or 1 meter over a meter. But it really is all just 1, in the same way any number over itself is 1. 2 over 2 is 1. 54 over 54 is 1. Well, 1 meter over 1 meter is 1. And you can use this in order to convert from units. Let's say you've got 12 meters, and you want to convert those into centimeters. Well, you just pull out your conversion factor. Treat your units like numbers when you're doing a conversion. I'm putting meters on the bottom here so it cancels out. Let me show you with the numbers gone and just the units meters over 1 times centimeters over meters. That gives you meters times centimeters over meters. The meters will both cancel each other out, since it's just meter over meter, or just 1. So you're left with centimeters. Those are the units you want. So then you can cross out the meters here and get 1,200 centimeters. You could cross multiply, but when you get into larger conversions that could span 3 or even 4 fractions, it'll be easier just to cross the units off. Notice that our distance hasn't changed at all. 1,200 centimeters is the same as 12 meters. All we did was multiply by 1 and change our units. Okay, so that was a pretty simple conversion. Let me show you something a little more abstract. Let's say you have 15 CDs. And every one CD would give you 74 minutes of listening pleasure. Minutes of listen LP, listening pleasure. And you wanted to know how many hours of listening pleasure that would give you. Well, start with what you know. You have 15 CDs. And now you need to come up with a conversion factor from CDs to units of time. Well, we know that one CD is 74 minutes. So put CDs on the bottom so they cancel out. 74 minutes of listening pleasure. Right, but we wanted our answer in hours. So one more conversion is needed. We know that there are 60 minutes in one hour. And that's all you have to do. Cross off your units. CDs cancel out. Minutes cancel out. And then just multiply through. 15 times 74 times 1 will give you 1,110 hours. And then on the bottom, 1 times 1 times 60 will give you 60. Dividing through will give you 18.5 hours. And that was all there is to it. And what we did was this odd conversion from CDs into hours. You don't normally see that, but that's just one of the types of abstract conversions you might run into in chemistry. So far, we've only converted one unit at a time, meters into centimeters, CDs into minutes. Well, using dimensional analysis, you can actually do two at once. Let's say you've got a car traveling at 15 meters per second, and you want to know what that was in kilometers per hour, a bit more of a conventional unit. Well, convert both of these units at the same time. Start out with distance. You know that every thousand meters is the same as one kilometer. Meters will cancel out. So great, you've got kilometers on top, you're halfway there. Now you just need to convert seconds into hours. Well, you know that there's 60 seconds in one minute. You can cross off seconds, and you know that there's 60 minutes in one hour. Notice that I put seconds on top this time and minutes on top again. That's because the original unit was on the bottom, and we wanted to cancel that out. Again, all you have to do now is multiply through. 15 times 60 times 60 is 54,000, and check the units, kilometers. And on the bottom, 1 times 1,000 times 1 times 1 is 1,000 hours. Simplify, and all you get is 54 kilometers per hour, and your conversion's done. That's all there is to it. To recap, dimensional analysis is a way to convert units in science. The key is to multiply by a conversion factor. That's a fraction that just equals 1. To remember to cancel out your units. Units on the bottom, to cancel them out, put out the same unit on the top until you finally get down to the units you want.
Alright, that's all for now. Again, I'm Brian Preer. See you next time.